Have you ever wondered, can the ethereal emotion of love be explained by cold, hard science? Well, it might seem like an odd pairing at first. Love with all its passion and poetry and science, with its logic and precision. Yet these two seemingly contradictory elements have a fascinating intersection that often goes unnoticed. You see, love and science aren't as far apart as you might initially think. Science doesn't strip away the magic of love, instead, it offers us a lens through which we can explore and understand this complex emotion in a whole new light. Today, we're going to delve into that intriguing crossroads, where the ardent heart meets the analytical mind, where the profound emotion of love intertwines with the objective study of science. We'll be exploring the scientific explanation of love, unraveling the mysteries that have captivated poets, philosophers, and yes, even scientists, for centuries. So, buckle up as we dive into the fascinating world of love from a scientific perspective. Love, as it turns out, isn't just a poetic concept, it's a chemical reaction. It's a fascinating fusion of hormones and neurotransmitters, playing out in the mysterious theater of the brain. This isn't a dramatic overstatement, but a scientific fact. Let's dive a bit deeper into this intriguing phenomenon. You see, when we fall in love, our brain releases a flurry of chemicals that give rise to a range of emotions and feelings. These include dopamine, oxytocin, and vasopressin. Dopamine is the excitement hormone. It's what makes your heart race when you see your beloved. It's the trigger behind those butterflies fluttering in your stomach during those initial stages of infatuation. Dopamine is the spark that fuels the fire of love, making everything seem brighter, happier, and more exhilarating. Then comes oxytocin, often dubbed the love hormone. It's released when we hug or kiss someone we care about. Oxytocin deepens feelings of attachment, making our relationships feel more significant and our bonds stronger. It's the glue that holds relationships together, fostering a sense of security and trust. Vasopressin works alongside oxytocin, playing a crucial role in long-term commitment. It's the hormone that helps transform the initial rush of passionate love into a steady, stable bond. Recent studies have shown that these chemicals are released during different stages of love, lust, attraction, and attachment. Lust is driven by sex hormones, testosterone, and estrogen. Attraction is dominated by adrenaline, dopamine, and serotonin. And attachment is where oxytocin and vasopressin come into play. Each stage is a unique cocktail of chemicals, creating different moods and emotions that we associate with love. From the rush of desire to the comfort of deep connection, it's all a result of this chemical symphony playing inside our brains. In essence, love can be seen as a survival mechanism, helping us form strong bonds and maintain the human species. It's a chemical romance that keeps us coming back for more, always seeking that next rush of dopamine, that next hit of oxytocin, Love truly is a drug, and we are all willing participants in its captivating dance. But the scientific story of love doesn't end with chemistry. It extends into the realm of psychology. Here we find fascinating insights into how our minds perceive and process this complex emotion. Psychologists have proposed several theories to understand love better. One such theory is Sternberg's triangular theory of love. Sternberg suggests that love consists of three components, intimacy, passion, and commitment. Intimacy refers to feelings of closeness, connectedness, and bondedness. Passion refers to the drives that lead to romance, physical attraction, and sexual consummation. And commitment is the decision to remain with another. Different combinations of these components, according to Sternberg, result in different types of love. For example, intimacy plus passion equals romantic love, while intimacy plus commitment equals companionate love. It's intriguing to consider how these elements blend uniquely in each of our relationships. It seems love isn't just a simple emotion but a complex interplay of many factors. So, can science truly explain love? We've journeyed through the fascinating intersection of love and science, revealing how intertwined they truly are. We've explored the chemistry of love, the potent cocktail of hormones and neurotransmitters that sparks attraction and fosters attachment. Dopamine, oxytocin, and vasopressin, these are not just mere molecules, but the architects of our deepest emotions. We've also delved into the psychology of love, examining how our minds shape and are shaped by this potent emotion. We've seen how love can be a mirror, reflecting our deepest desires and fears, and how it can be a catalyst, pushing us to grow and evolve. But as we wrap up our journey, Let's remember that love is both simpler and more complex than any scientific explanation can capture. It involves our bodies and our minds, yes, but also our hearts and souls. 
While science can provide insights into the mechanics of love, it's clear that love is more than just chemicals and theories. It's a deeply personal, profoundly human experience.